Hi, welcome to SFG Cards and Craft. Today I'd like to show you how I did this card and uh, also maybe explain why I've actually done it. Uh, okay, here I'm going to be showing the panel. I've already stamped the panel. I mean, everyone's seen stamping on panels. This is done with the VersaFine for the black and the embossing is done with um, the Ranger light blue embossing powder. Okay, here's a little. I've got a little piece of fun foam. It's a fairly thick fun foam. This one, I, I don't even know where I found it. I think it just came in a pack of several different uh, colours, and it just happened to have a nice thick white one in there, uh, which I was lucky for that. Um, I've just cut off a little piece, as you can see, and just put the word "boy" through the die cutting machine. And I'm actually doing a trick here that Therese from Lost in Paper does. She um, leaves her fun foam with the letters already in it like cut there like I have and then she uses that as a um, to glue the, the letters in on top it, it helps and it's it works really well so if you haven't already tried this I recommend that you do try it uh, I don't very often do letters like this with the fun foam but I was really pleased when I saw her do this on several of her videos and it's the, actually the um, Coles ABC that I'm using there the lawn fawn um, so a big hello to you Therese and uh, thank you very much for this lovely tip that you've given the world, the crafting world that is. <laughs> uh, okay now what I'm doing here is I'm uh, putting the two colours onto the wood boy is Broken China on the top and Blueprint Sketch for the bottom. The Blueprint Sketch the colour that I've got there I've never really used it before. I've, I've had all these colours now for several months but the Blueprint Sketch is a, such a bright colour I've never really had much call to use it. But I thought, well, here today I'll use it, and it's, it's a very wet colour because it's never been used. This one's probably the first time I've actually ever opened it today here. Okay, so we get those done. Uh, in case you didn't know, the uh, that white sheet that I'm actually um, uh, blending and, and working on there is just a laminated sheet of white paper, just put into a laminating pouch and put through the laminator and uh, I use that on all of my things and it works really well, it cleans off and it's so cheap to be able to just replace it. I have got a uh, Teflon craft mat but I never use it these days, I just keep using these white sheets and there I've just stuck some Ranger Matte Medium uh, glue on and now I'm about to pick up the letters and place them in into the place they just sort of lock into place as you can see it just sort of move them and they just lock in as long as you don't bump them again and they just stay there it's excellent idea. Thanks again, Therese. Okay, and I just put it over there with a bit of weight on it for a while. That's something that takes a while to dry, so it had to be done first. Okay, now tea dye. Um, what have we got? Tea dye, rusty hinge, and vintage photo for the giraffe. Uh, the the worn lipstick is for the ears and also the paws on on the panda. The uh, hooves for the is vintage photos for the giraffe. Uh, the black soot and hickory smoke plus the worn lipstick obviously is for the panda. Okay now the muzzle I've done that just with uh, pure tea dye but I've, I do come in later and actually lighten that colour. It's uh, just a little bit too dark I think so I do lighten that a little bit. The rest of the body except the hooves and inside of the ears is done with a mix, a brush mix of tea dye and rusty hinge. Now a brush mix what I mean by that is actually I've got the two colours stamped side by side on my palette off to one side there and I just swipe the brush between the two colours and pick up roughly an even amount of each. That works for me and I, I think it's probably just the easiest way to do it. Um, now the spots. Uh, the spots are Rusty Hinge and Vintage Photo. They're again a brush mix of the two colours. Uh, also as you can see to the top of the horn there as well, horns on, on the uh, little guy or girl. <laughs> Never know what they are when they're like this. I actually, when I first was looking at uh, giraffes to actually do the first card for the baby card that I did, I actually looked on the internet to find out sort of what, I knew roughly what colours they were, but I thought I'll just have a look and see if I can find something a little bit so I can get it fairly close. And there's just so many different types of giraffe colours out there. Some are almost pure white and there's, there's greys and, well this is the main colour, this is probably about 90% of them are this colour, but there's a lot of other colours out there too. Um, okay, doing the hooves now. The hooves are just vintage photo. No mix on that one, just a pure vintage photo. I 
I don't think I come in with a second coat of that. I think I just leave it as is. It looks dark enough like that. I'm pretty sure I just leave one coat. There is something that I actually do that I don't show on screen. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's shown in the photograph, but I have a, a black glaze pen that I actually uh, go over the eyes and the nose of both characters um, just to put a dot in there, just to, on the panda, of course, the nose is a bit larger than just a dot. Um, but just just to sort of uh, darken them, to brighten them up, give them a little bit of a shine. Uh, and this is putting in the worn lipstick into the ears and the paws on the panda. Actually, this the giraffe was quite fast to do, but the panda, it took probably more, probably double the time roughly is what the giraffe took, mainly because I had to do two coats to get the darkness that I wanted. I wasn't happy with one coat. I, th I thought pandas are black and white, not grey and white, so I decided that I would actually do proper black, so I needed to do two coats. I, uh, with, with the black, I did two coats over the black, except on the eyes. I only did the one coat around the eyes. I thought it would lose the eyes. And this is where I messed up. I went too far down. I don't know what I was thinking there. I think I was away with the fairies. And um, I just cleaned it up because it doesn't really matter too much as long as I can get the bulk of it off because uh, I'm doing a shading with the, the hickory smoke at a later time anyway later on uh, so I get most of it off and what's left there doesn't matter anyway so I fixed that up um, okay just continuing on now with the black this is black soot that I'm using at the moment but as you can see it's quite grey uh, it's very light sort of grey at the moment and it does get darker when I put a second coat on Um, now, the reason I actually came to do this card, which I said before, I'll tell you why. Uh, a few years ago, whilst I was playing on uh, the Xbox Live, I met up with a person, uh, found out not long ago that his first name is Joshua. He never told me what his first name was, just that I had to go by what his title was that he's put him, called himself on there. And eventually I found out that his name is Joshua and his wife's name is Jana, or or. Yet Jana, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, and uh, they've just had a little baby boy. Uh, now I've actually done this card for them, but because I don't know their physical address or a post office box address for them, as they live in Detroit, uh, I thought I'll just put it up as a video for them so that they can actually watch it being made. I, I, I don't know how to get it to them otherwise, so I thought, well, at least this way they can actually see it. In, in person and if they decide that they want me to send it to them they can just send me their um, address and I can actually post it on to them um, so that's basically how this card came about so uh, a big hello to uh, Joshua and Jana and I hope that little boy is doing okay he was only born a few days ago I haven't heard, heard of what his name is going to be yet <coughs> okay this is starting the second coat now on the panda the to darken it it's it's still a gray but I think it looks better with the darker I've actually seen other people that have done this panda the same exactly the same panda on some cards and they do it with only one coat and it's too light I think even mine could be a little bit darker uh, but uh, I, I leave it this this darkness but I've seen it done even lighter shade of what my original color here was my first coat and I don't think it looks as good as what it could be if it was darker because really pandas are black and white not grey and white and just going around, as I said the panda does take a lot longer than, than what the giraffe did because I've got to go around all those little pads and things and doing two coats it does make it a bit slow but we're nearly there now, I've sped it up as much as I dared to Okay, it looks like we're nearly done now for the panda. Now I've got to do the uh, shading on with the hickory smoke on the whites. The shading's there just to sort of try and round the face up a little bit in the body. I 
I don't worry about shading the uh, black part although I probably could have come in with a bit of more black on the uh, side loaded and just put it around and might have helped to sort of round it up a little bit but I think just putting it on the white part of the body and the face it sort of rounds it up a little bit which is what the idea of it was you don't see it very clearly here but there's a fair bit of colour in there I don't want to overdo it of course well, you'll end up with the white looking too grey okay now I'm doing the grass uh, the grass I think I had originally stamped that in uh, lawn fawns let's see the grass I've got it stamped here in lawn fawn noble fur was the colour that I had that stamped in along there and now I'm actually going in with um, mowed lawn to paint it just to paint it in um, I think that if you make it too smooth it looks too flat like too two dimensional if you actually make it so it's not so smooth it looks more three dimensional it gets, gives a little bit more depth in it so I'm not trying to make it smooth here I'm just trying to cover it fairly sort of as long as it's got a roughly an even co uh, coat and then it doesn't matter if it's patchy afterwards because I think it looks better if it is a bit patchy it looks more dimensional that way I think that's just my thought on the matter anyway I don't know if anyone else agrees but um, I think that's the way it is anyway so the more rough it is the, the more dimension you look like you got and that was showing the panel now I'm going to be putting the word boy down just dotting the um, glue on there this is still the same glue, the Ranger multi matte medium or multi medium matte. I never can remember which way it goes. The triple M. <laughs> uh, okay, the word boy is nearly done. This is a fairly quick video. It's uh, although it is still over 14 minutes long, but uh, I've I've cut it down and sped it up as much as I did, but. With my videos I know they are long and I do apologize for that but I do like to put as much information in as possible sometimes you see videos and they're all chopped and uh, like the, there's too too much speeding in them and not enough information I don't think so this is what I try to do with my videos is try and give as much information as possible uh, now these two colors there again broken china and blueprint sketch again blueprint sketch again for the balloons I actually was going to put one larger balloon on but I found that the balloon was so long that it almost sat right on top of the bear's hand the panda's hand that is and uh, so I decided to just put the little ones on these are uh, did I write them down balloons no I didn't write them down they're from uh, I can't think of the name of this the set it's, oh, they have IO in their name for the, for their name I think it's that their logo is IO impression obsession I think yes that's them I think it's uh, just a set of uh, three balloons this is the smallest of the three now what I've done there is I've with a little bit of the glue the wet glue I've just glued them together and now I'm just putting some small short some small dimensional tape on which is only 0.8 of a millimeters so it's a very thin dimensional tape on the back just to lift it off that little bit it's not as thick obviously as the word boy is stuck up that one's stuck up on about a maybe three millimeters I think that uh, foam is and I've put the strings on this is proper cotton string well say cotton it's got a plastic thread going through it and just to hold them down while it's, the glue is drying I've um, put that block there just to hold the strings in place it takes a while for it to dry I went away for like an hour or two and then came back and both that and the boy were dry and I trimmed the strings off and there's the card complete well, if you enjoyed this, uh, please subscribe and um, thanks again to Therese and uh, if you liked it, just click the like box. Thank you. Bye-bye.